Hello everyone and welcome back to The Sims 3 Warrior Cats Challenge! And what was that? Uh, okay. So welcome back to The Sims 3 100, 101 board... No, no, no. Welcome back to Warrior Cats, not 101 board copies. <laughs> so today should be the day that the apprentices are aging up. And so we are just going to wait until that happens, so I'm not going to record the beginning. I haven't actually got a story to record for the beginning bit, because I have um, been working on the apprentice ceremony one, so yeah. Also, uh, my throat is a bit croaky at the moment, I'm not sure why, but if my throat randomly starts croaking in the middle of the video, I'm, I'm, I, I don't know why, I'm sorry. Is this what are you doing? sitting. Also, that reminds me, have I turned autonomy back on? Uh, no. Well, that was stupid. Right. Also, I need to go through anyone, everyone and, yes, make sure that this isn't happening because I've decided to go and drink and, damn it, I forgot to turn it. Testing. Nope. There we go. Um... That just enables me to lower and higher needs. Leave kit. <sighs> These cats. Why are all the cat? All I swear, all the cats behind my back have gone and drunk from the waterfall. Cloud go Yep, all all the cats. Who have you lost a friend? Um. Or maybe it was Sandstripe. That's sad. Right. Okay, Brookwing's good. Adaclaw, I need to lower your hunger. Sandstripe, I need to lower your hunger. Hanifa, Hanifa, your hunger is fine. You need to eat something though. Uh, Copper Pelt, uh, Shardfang, Suki, I've done. Angel, and the kit's fine. And the leaf kit really, really is hungry. So I want to see if there is anything in the prey pile. Uh, where is the... Leaf Kit, what are you doing in the way on the other side of the camp? No, there isn't anything in the prey pile. Does anything have any... Does anyone have anything they can give Leaf Kit? Ooh, um, Thistle Whisker has a fish. I think Thistle Whisker, he might go, like, talk to Leaf Kit and see that she wasn't feeling very well, so maybe sniff her. And then he might just straight up give her the fish. Um, leaf kit, leaf kit, leaf kit, leaf kit, there we go. Uh, copper pal, what are you doing? Oh, also, that's something that I have forgotten to do. I've forgotten to move the rocks. But I've also put these rocks in. Um, so these rocks I have placed because I was looking at it and it kind of looked weird without the rocks there. So I've just placed these rocks. The cats can still get into each den. Copper pal, would you demonstrate for us, please? See, Copper Park can get into the Elder's Den, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, Storm Kit, you can come out of the Queen's Den, and you can show everyone that everything is fine. So everyone can still get out and in, and that's not a problem. Uh, honey fur. Honey fur, honey fur, honey fur. Eat, eat, eat this. And I don't think it would be like against the warrior code to eat a termite. Uh, copper pelts, what are you doing? You're searching for prey and Hazel Star, Hazel Star, Hazel Star, where are you? She is gonna go catch something. Um, what was Sandstripe doing? She's gonna go nuzzle copper pelt. Sandstripe seems to be getting kind of close to copper pelt. Uh, where's Shardfang actually? Shardfang. He is sniffing his son. That's really cute. Oh, I think she's coming down and nuzzling him because he's kind of keeping watch over the nursery. Sharpine. Oh, he doesn't like it. Sharpine. Um. Okay. What is... Oh, it's going to go catch something. Um. This waterfall is seriously loud. Thistle Whisker isn't doing anything. Shardfang's coming to sniff his mate. Hazel Star is going to scratch something. Suki is sleeping. Angel is going to be groomed by Honeyfur. Cloud Whisker is practicing hunting skill. That's a bit weird, but sure. 
Brookwing is not going to be drinking from the waterfall, I refuse. Uh, Brookwing, if you're going to be doing that, you're having to be fishing. That is the penalty from doing this. So you're going to have to fish three times and then I think I'm going to get you to fish three other times so you can catch more food. Also, Brookwing is going to be officially staying in Honey Clan. Um, Copper Pelt. You're going to go catch something. I'm pretty sure I've already gone over you. Adaclaw, what are you doing? Do you really need to be sleeping? No, you don't particularly need to be sleeping. And you want to nuzzle Leaf Kit. Where's Leaf Kit? Leaf Kit? No, don't be fed a treat. Has someone come and eaten the fish? No, the fish is over here. You just broke the fish. Leaf Kit. Pesquis. Pes Pesquis Kit. Right. Sandstripe has several pill bugs. Um... Anyone else have anything that they could give? Shard Fang, he really needs to give that assassin beetle to um, Cloud Whisker. And of course, Hazel Star has caught another rainbow beetle because we don't have enough rainbow beetles. <laughs> uh, Suki, um, can you eat this termite? Yeah. I'm just going to place this down because she did technically have the fish. So she can come over and eat this. What do you mean you can't get to it? You're a rascal. You know that leaf kit? You are a little rascal. Right. Who has food I can give to leaf kit? Sorry. Sorry, Sandstripe. But I don't think Sandstripe would really mind giving some food to leaf kit because Sandstripe is another queen. Leaf kit, come eat. This should be perfectly fine to go and eat. Apparently not. It's not in a bush, it's not in a tree. You're just being weird. There's nothing over here. Where are you going? Leave kids. You can't be going out of camp. <sighs> right, I'm I'm sending you back to your mother who might box you over the ears with frustration. And she is actually she is What's Angel Wing? Yeah, they're grooming one another. Leave kids, you're going to be ill. Hang on, let me roll for her. She's fine. Thank God. 1% <laughs> more and she would be ill. So Leaf Kit, you really need to get your butt over here. And Sandstripe. Oh, she... She's... Oh, oh why are you? Just sniff her. Kind of apologise. Socialise. Sniff. So you two actually get along rather well. Socialise. And then I think she might come and pounce on her. Leaf Kit. Yeah, you best get your fluffy butt into the camp. And it looks like Copper Pelt actually doing some hunting. Uh, no, uh, Blasted Cats. Right. You want a green leaf kit? Very interesting. How high is your relationship with little leaf kit? How is that? Apparently, he has a really high relationship with leaf kit. Uh, he wants to get to know Honey Fur, though, because her, her portrait is. There, but he does want to groom leaf kit more than he does want wise get to know honey fur honey fur is complaining about fleas yeah i think they can agree on the mutual frustration of fleas because they both have fleas <laughs> so angel wing actually seems to be pretty close to honey fur oh i've still forgot to sort out the whole she's supposed to be mates with thistle whisker and not this random cat so yeah, she's actually close to Honey Fur, but where's the rest of the clan? She doesn't really mind the kits. Oh! Well, apparently she really doesn't like Suki and Brookwing. And Adaclaw, Shardfang, and Sandstripe. And I know I just got Adaclaw and Shardfang mixed up. That's very interesting. She doesn't mind Hazelstar, though. So yeah, she's training with Honey Fur. The kit is not begging food from Lily, madam. Right, who has food? Thistle Whisker, you should have something. Thistle, who went swimming? Someone went swimming. I got someone to go hunt in the water. That was Brookwing. Brookwing, don't you... Okay, Brookwing has been fishing. How have you caught a piranha? I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to chuck this down in the prey pile. And though I said I was going to get the cats to go over, I'm... Not having Leaf Kit get ill before an apprentice ceremony. Cloud Whisker really wants to up his hunting skills. It's kind of interesting. 
And I'm not going to stop him if he hunts on his own. If I don't tell him to hunt, then he he can do some hunting. Um, leaf kit. Yeah, you're going over to the prey pile and you're actually going to eat something. Good girl. Sounds right. No, madam. And I can't... Actually... No, I... Add a claw. Add a claw, you're not even a water cap. You're going to have to fish. Sandstripe. I think actually, because Adaclaw and Sandstripe came down at the same time, Adaclaw might do the fishing penalty that Sandstripe got. And Lily, you need to be taking care of your plants. Shelky, what were you doing? No, don't go beg. Right. Dust Kit, you are actually hungry, so who can have food for you right now? Uh, I might send, like, a hunting patrol out. Shardfang, he is pouncing on Hazelstar, so I think he kind of is, like, trying to go maybe up his hunting skull, maybe tell Hazelstar, hey, we might want to get some food for the kits or something like that. So I'm going to get him to do six hunts. <coughs> Hazelstar, you can do three hunts on land and then three hunts in the water. Brookwing... He's fishing, um, but then I'm going to actually get him to just hunt three times on land because he does need to get that skill up as well. Suki is grooming Thistle Whisker. Very interesting. How well do you two get along? They get along really well, actually. Hmm. Very interesting. Aw, that's so cute. Okay. <laughs> this is beside the point. Where's Cloud Whisker? No, hunting. You, um... You can't get fleas. You're a medicine cat. Um, Suki, after you finish grooming him, you could search for some prey. Hang on. Okay. Um, yeah, my game just decided to be weird. What? Oh, and now Dust Kit's aging up. <sighs> Brookwing, Brookwing, what are you doing? Brookwing is now going to celebrate the fact that Dust Kit is aging up. Suki is still grooming Thistle Whisker, and then I am going to get her to do some hunting. Um, actually, hang on. Damn kits. Right. Dust kit. Are you going to be adorable? Also, I have decided that I'm going to edit Shell Kit's appearance to make her look a bit more fluffy. As her mum and dad are both fluffy, it doesn't really make much sense that she isn't fluffy. So I am going to do that. And wiggle butt. <laughs> he is so handsome. He has. Oh my god, he looks. Dust kit or poor or whatever you are now. You look like so much like one of my actual cats. You look like Chimera. You are so cute. I love you. Okay, so Dust Kit has now aged up. And Sandstripe! Ah! Now I'm being dragged over to Shell Kit. Great. Sandstripe, where are you going? No, don't practice hunting. Congratulate your son. Sniff him. Right, whilst I watch Shell Kit age up. Shell Kit, I'm going to have adorable photos of you because you are adorable. Look at this a face. Look at the face. <laughs> also, Shell Kit and Dust Kit share the exact same uh, coat patterning, so they look pretty much the same. And she is very talkative, apparently, though we can't hear anything. Shell Kit, I'm gonna age up. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, ah, Thistle Whisker! Pause. Is that Thistle Whisker? Yeah, it was Thistle Whisker. He's gonna go interact with Angel Wing, I think. Or he's thinking of Angel Wing. What are you doing, Thistle Whisker? Angel Wing... Yeah, you're gonna be groomed by Thistle Whisker. So I think Thistle Whisker, he, he doesn't want Angel Wing to get the wrong idea about him and Suki. Now, I don't know if that's gonna go well or not, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's... Shell paw or kit or whatever we're gonna call her. Okay. Well, at least the kits have synced up. <laughs> uh, Dawn kit. 
No, shall get. Well, there's going to be an apprentice ceremony in a second. Don't, Lily. Also, I've decided that I'll probably just chuck Lily's baby into the other household, like, um, with him. The father of the child. Oh, so Dawn, uh, Dawn actually looks like, like, he is a short-haired cat, but he doesn't, like, have lizard tail. <laughs> likes, uh, like, uh, like, um... Shell kit does. And what I mean by lizard tail is just a very thin tail. And I'm not even sure why I said lizard tail. It's just what pops my brain. So yeah, that's... Oops. That is... Dawn Paw. So I will be back in a second after I have finished recording the apprentice ceremony. The pale leafful sunlight filtered through the bare branches about Lily's grove. Hazel Star was sitting on her rock, looking about the cats in front of her. Her clan really had got large, she thought. Far from the handful of cats she had joined all those many moons ago, she hoped the cold leaf fair would not thin their numbers. She was brought back to what, why they were there by the mewing of the excited cats, an apprentice ceremony. She hadn't even had to use the clan gathering call. They had all just appeared, one by one. She smiled to herself. Her clan really did work together. The three kits that were to be apprenticed were sitting to one side of their mother, trying to act as grown up as possible, sitting up straight and paying attention, but their fidgeting paws and twitching whiskers gave them away. Sandstripe knew her kits well and gave them all a calming lick to the top of their heads. It's all right, my little ones. You're ready. Hazelstar will have picked perfect mentors for all of you. There's nothing to worry about. At the same time, Dawnkit heard his name called from the rock, and he jumped, shifting backwards, but a firm nudge from his mother propelled him into the middle of the cats and right in front of Hazelstar. Dawnkit, you have reached the age of six moons and you are ready to be apprenticed. From this day on, until you receive your warrior name, you'll be known as Dawnpaw. Your mentor will be Suki. I hope Suki will pass down all she knows to you. Dawnkit looked about the gathered cats and saw her at the back. He didn't know her well, and she looked a bit intimidating. But a glance back at his mother showed that she was pleased with the match. Suki, you are ready to take an apprentice. You have shown yourself to be a good hunter and a leader, and an excellent warrior. You will be the mentor to Dawnpaw, and I expect you to pass down all you know to him. A ripple of excitement and approval went throughout the gathered cats. It was an obvious choice. Suki came forward and touched noses gently with him. Dawnpaw decided this wasn't as bad as he had originally thought. Next called up was Dustkit. Having watched his brother practically be knocked kneed in front of all the other cats, he wanted to show how brave he was, and bowed it out in front of everyone, looking up with expectation to his leader. She smothered a smile, trying to look serious at his young face. This one showed so much promise. Dustkit, you have reached the age of six moons and you are ready to be apprenticed. From this day forward until you receive your warrior name, you will be known as Dustpaw. Your mentor will be Adaclaw. I hope Adaclaw will pass down all he knows to you. Dustpaw wiggled with excitement to have such a strong hunter chosen for him. Adaclaw, though you can be headstrong and don't always make the right choices, you have proven yourself many times to be a loyal cat and a good hunter. I expect you are ready for an apprentice and you will be the mentor to Dustpaw. There was a couple of raised eyebrows, but the clan was happy. Sandstripe just hoped her headstrong brother and boisterous kit would not make too many scuffles. The brown tabby Tom came forward and touched noses with his new apprentice, amused how excited he seemed. It was dark by the time Shell Kit was called. She peeped from behind her mother, who gave her a gentle nudge into the clearing of cats, where she sat trembling in front of her leader. Shell Kit, you have reached the age of six moons and you are ready to be apprenticed. From this day forward, until you receive your warrior name, you will be known as Shellpaw, and I will be your mentor. I will try and pass down all I know to you. Surprise ran throughout the camp. Whilst it was not unusual for a leader to take an apprentice, it didn't happen often. But Hazelstar had thought long and hard about this, and couldn't come to a conclusion, and there was no one without kits who would be the right cat for her. 
and truth be told, she had a soft spot for the youngster, so she had decided to take the role herself. She stepped down from the rock and gently touched noses with her apprentice, aware that the youngster was so nervous she was shaking. She whispered in her ear so no one else could hear. You are fine, Shellpaw. I was nervous as a kid as well. We will take it day by day and step by step, and soon you will have a lot heart of a lion. She nuzzled the kit by the ears. Okay, so now we have three little apprentices running around the can. So we have Dawnpaw, Dustpaw and Shellpaw and their mentors are Suki, Hazelstar and Adaclaw and I know I've literally just explained that but I feel I, I, I just I just wanted to say it again. Also Copper Pelt had the drinking penalty so he's, he's going to have to fish three times. Shardfang <laughs> sleeping in the middle of like the apprentice training grounds. Uh, Dawnpaw, you can pounce on Suki again. So Dawnpaw doesn't actually know Suki rather well, but they are like in their friends. Also, Hazelstar is actually really, really close to Shellkit. Um, and I did look at their stats before writing the story, but I didn't realise how close she was. And yes, she is actually closer to Copper Pelt. Um, Cloud Whisker, Suki, and Sandstripe. Also, yes, I know Copper Pelt is her mate. Again, that's just the game, but I'm just ignoring that. Oh, what do you mean, sad face? Okay, I'm going to make everyone pounce on everyone else a couple more times. Only three times. Also, Shellpaw, I'm not even. Okay. I I don't know if I'm going to I think Shellpaw might pounce on Hazel Star one more time and then she might go and kind of like curl up somewhere or maybe even go talk to the kit because Shellpaw is much more of a shy cat. She is non-destructive and shy, whilst her brother is uh, independent no, is adventurous and proud. And <laughs> Dawnpaw is a bit clueless and he isn't destructive, so. Also, somehow they've already got fleas. <laughs> so, I think Cloud Whisker would be very frustrated with the flea problem. Uh, who has medical items? That is a medical item. Cloud Whisker, you can have that. This is also a medical item, so you can have that. Uh, anyone else got any medical items? Yes, Adacor, you can give him that and this what is that a death fish adaclaw caught a death fish adaclaw is not a hunter but he caught a death fish hmm well we'll just see where that takes us uh oh no i didn't want to place it back in his inventory i was trying to place it in cloud whisker's inventory and i'm not sure why i paused the game honeybird do you have anything you have a robot fish uh, but that's not really a medical item. A angelfish. Hmm. Uh, that is a medical item, and that's a medical item. Hazelstar, I know for a fact you have medical items in your inventory. Because you have a slight obsession with catching turtles and rainbow snails. So. We have a lot of, lot of turtles, and that is good because it means we will be able to cure quite a few colds in the winter and winter is only two days away so leaf kit will actually age up after winter she has three days so i'm actually going to probably extend leaf kit's kit hood a little longer because hazel star now you have the fishing penalty hazel star why no don't be pounced on by sand stripes you have to fish three times uh okay anyone else have any angel wing She's being groomed by Thistle Whisker. Thistle Whisker, do you actually have anything in your inventory you can give to Angel Wing? No. Everyone else is kind of like hungry, so I think I'm going to get them to put the prey down the prey pile. That is a medical item that you can give to Cloud Whisker. Um, oh, what? How? Oh, right. I was like, how do you have feathers in your inventory? I forgot that I gave them all feathers because of they were kind of well dawn kit more than anyone else was obsessed with feathers when he was little and probably still quite likes feathers we have a lot of medical items i didn't even realize we had uh okay i think that's everything 
Yep. So now I just need to. Where's. Who has the most prey, actually? Adaclaw. You don't have anything really that can be eaten except bugs. So, Shardfang, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to wake you up from your nap and send you over to the prey pile. Hazel Star, uh, I'll send you over to the prey pile. You are actually going to fish three times. Yeah, you have the fishing penalty. Seeker doesn't really have anything. Cloud Whisker, that's all medical items. Uh, honey Fur, nope. Co oh, Copper Pearl has something. He can come over to the prey pile. No, Thistle Whisker does have something. Uh, not Thistle Whisker, Shard Fang, but he's already coming over, so that's good. Angel Wing, what are you doing? Yeah, you can stop being groomed now by Thistle Whisker. He really needs to pee. Uh, he also really needs to scratch something. He's basically been stuck in an internal loop of grooming. Scratch. Uh, and then you can, no, pee, then scratch. Uh, Angel Wing. That's broken. Angel Wing's gonna go sleep. Madam, don't go sleep. Oh, she's in the Medicine Cat's den. She spends a lot of time in here. Um. Okay, good. You can come put this down, and I think Angel Wing would pounce on it as soon as she saw it. Uh, Shardfang, Shardfang, you can Shardfang, wake up. Uh, who else was I supposed to come over here? Brookwing! Okay, he didn't actually drink. Hazel Star is still fishing. Uh, Leaf Kit, what are you doing? Oh, she's just curled up asleep. Okay, you can wake up, Leaf Kit, because you're kind of hungry. Who have you lost a friend with? Who are you not friends with anymore? Well, she's actually really close to Shellport. I, um, I think... Uh, it might possibly be an Adaclaw. Or even Cloud Whisker. But she is hungry, so... Honey Ferret is asleep. Okay, she's, uh, not Shellport. These kit, come over here. Here we go. Hazel Star, I can place down the two termites you have managed to catch. The bird. What's this? Vampire Fish's medical item. And all this. Okay. And Shardfang. The what? Uh, they look suspiciously like sharks, but I know they're not. And then the angelfish. I I don't really want to put angelfish down because I feel like it's sort a of, some sort of a medical item. Uh, there we go. And now leaf kit, you can come over and eat whatever this is. Now angelfish is gonna go sleep. Where's she gonna go sleep? You can go sleep in the queen's den. Yeah, I have a feeling she's gonna go sleep in the queen's den. Where's Harvester going? To sniff adequate. Okay. Ah. There's like a rock in the way and it's kind of annoying. Oh, everyone's in the Queen's Den. Dust pour. I think it's because it's raining. Everyone kind of comes down here when it's raining. I think I'm going to actually add the beds into the Elder's Den just so it gives another place for the cats to sleep. And so they don't all kind of just get trapped in the Queen's Den. Makes sense for Honey Fur to be down here, and it kind of makes sense for um, Dustpaw to be down here as he was only just apprenticed. But Adaclaw, it kind of makes no sense. <laughs> but Adaclaw, do you have fleas? He does have fleas. Cloud Whisker, how many squirrels and stuff do we have? Uh, rodents, we have one, two, three, four rodents plus two sea sludge. That would be five flea depellent. So he is going to go sniff him. I'm actually going to change that to groom. So Cloud Whisker is going to groom him and then he will cure his fleas with one of the bats. Angel Wing, what are you doing? She is going to go sleeping somewhere, I know that. Oh, apparently they don't like 
Okay, you can sniff him and socialize and then sniff him and socialize again. And then maybe try grooming after that. Because yeah, they, they aren't really close. Honey fur has fleas, we'll have to get rid of that. Everyone has fleas, it's like a flea infestation. Oh, I only just risk and realize this portrait changed. Hang on. Okay, he's fine. <sighs> okay, who else has fleas that needs curing? Honey fur really needs curing because she's a queen and that can lead to different uh, that can lead to illness uh, faster than with the usual warrior. Angel wing? Yeah, she keeps on getting in and out of the bed. I'm just gonna go sleep. Just sleep in there. Uh Dawn Kit. Okay. Uh, Cloud Whisker, finish grooming, like finish socialising and stuff and then speed through a little. Okay, I'm gonna stop the socialising and see if you can groom him. Oh, he still doesn't want to be groomed. Maybe Adderclaw's like, no, get rid of the, <laughs> get rid of my, oh, that's funny, they're both proud cats. Um, get rid of my mates, please, before mine, because Honeyfair is expecting, uh, not inspecting kits, she is, a queen uh, and it would not be good for her to be expecting kits at this time as it's only two days until winter meaning her kits would be born in winter meaning they would they'd probably die but oh no it didn't want to do that um i think i am gonna have to end this video here so thank you for watching please hit the subscribe button and notification bell if you want to join us and i hope you have a lovely day bye